Hi, welcome at NEEDAP. And we are very happy to share with you all the new stuff we've put in the release of the 2023.1. Let's get started. We are standing here live at this wall of lockers. But the lights are off, so it seems illogical that the LEDs are on, right? So we've added this feature that you're now able to configure when the lights of the lockers can be turned off. With this, you can reach a reduction of the energy used by 75%. Cool, right? Last time I was standing here, I was telling you about the implementation of EV2 for our non-transparent readers. We've now extended this feature also for our transparent readers. But Wesley also has something to tell you about our transparent readers. Right, Wesley? Yes, for sure. So here we have our USB desktop reader. And when I present my badge to this reader, it pops up in the front end of the receptionist or security manager, and they don't have to manually type over the badge number, preventing a lot of issues, of course. But to read this card, this reader needs card credentials to log into that card and copy the card number. But as it's a USB device, I can just unplug it and now I have the card data. That's something we don't want. So instead of this USB desktop reader, we could also place a transparent reader. And this transparent reader doesn't contain any card data whatsoever. Now via the device reader, as it's called, a ABC on our controller, we can send this card number to the EOS dashboard. But Iris, can this receptionist user always log in? Well, now that you mention it, we've added a feature with which you can block your system users after a configurable non-active period. This means that, for example, after 30 days, when a system user has not logged in, this system user will be blocked automatically, which is a great feature to match your company policies. So we added a lot of features in this version. But for who did we do this? We did this for basically all our stakeholders, for the end customers, for the channel partner, and of course, for our technology partners. For all of them? For all of them. Wow. For example, for our end customers, we created the feature that you can now uh, configure your templates to only work for those carriers that are relevant. So, so you can adjust for the carrier type if it's a visitor, employee or contractor. Exactly, because you create a template for a visitor, it makes no sense that you can select it in an employee. It only makes uh, more mistakes for the end user. Wow, so no more errors. No more errors, less. But that's only for our end customers, right? True. For our channel partners, we, uh, we have these import files. So you can, for example, your HR system, it generates a file, which you can then import it to EOS, and all the persons are added to EOS automatically. Yeah, I know. Very nice. Perhaps we can pop up a print screen. But when you want to add, for example, a phone number or an email address, where do you put this in the, in the file? Just at random, I know. Exactly, so your email address becomes your phone number, not so convenient. No. So we've added a header in the import file, which you can now use to also see which fields are located where. Wow. Saves a lot of problems as well. That's very user-friendly for the partner. Exactly. But that's not all. We also did something for our technology partners. So we extended our SOAP web services because they, via these SOAP web services, they can find all the carriers in the system. Mm -hmm. So Iris is in the system. I can ask EOS, okay, give me the details of Iris. But then, I don't know, you get married, your last name changes. I need to re-ask again and again. So, but how do I know when that's happened? Now you can just ask EOS, show me all the modified carriers from the last 24 hours or 48 hours, depends on how often you want to request it. Nice, so we automated that task. Exactly. Cool. A lot of small features which make a big impact. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep an eye on our website whenever the release will be published. For more information, you can read the release guides and... Hello? Oh, the tip. Yes, yes, of course. One moment. When you update EOS, don't forget to clear your cache by Control, Shift, Delete. 